the what's up guys we're inside of the mall and it's pretty early and I'm in a sitting area so it seems like it'd be safe enough to flap this thing around um, this is the uh, CD ballast song that kind of reminds me of the Sahara and I wanted to give a little talk about what I think about um, original designs versus clones and where is the line drawn because earlier I was speaking about how I think that this is a clone or like CD ballast songs are clones, you know? Um, first of all, I want to say that before I like say anything bad at all, I want to say some good about CD and other companies, like even the clone companies. Um, a lot of respect from me goes out to those uh, people who work hard on this stuff. Um, even, even the people who even steal the designs, but I'm also talking about the legitimized companies too. Um, you know, Jerry Hom, Squid Industries, Glider Co., uh, all of, basically all of the Balasan companies. Um, mad respect because a lot of work goes into this stuff. Even if you stole the design, there's still like a team full of people, you know, anodizing the parts and, you know, machining and milling out everything and sanding it all down and um, sometimes heat treating or sanding down bushings and a lot goes into this stuff and I feel it goes underlooked and that's why a lot of it's kind of hard to become available all the time because so much man hours are put behind this um a lot of work has to be done with the hands to even get these things assembled so yeah lots of respect now with that being said this thing here is shit <laughs> i just wanted to say that too um this thing is is bad now their other one that orange one that i had that you saw before that one's actually pretty good and it still don't have tap but surprisingly this one is bad and it doesn't have tap. Listen, there is no tap on this, and yet I'm still saying it's bad. I don't know if it's the speed channel um, handles that have been milled out that make this bad to me. It has to do with the pivots, I definitely think so. It's either the blade profile that's throwing off the weight or it's the pivots, but this thing, and it's not that it doesn't flip good, it's just the fact that I wouldn't pick this up all the time to flip because it just is not that fun. But yeah, back on subject of what I think is clone versus original design. Um, like, for example, is this a clone or, or an original design? I would say that it's an inspired design. Um, and I think that's pretty much the best way to put it, is inspired design. Because, for example, Glider um, had, on, on their Facebook page a couple years back when they started, they mentioned that they took, not took, but they mentioned that they took inspiration, I guess, if I want to say the word took. Uh, they took inspiration from the Triton when they were um, making their ballast song. But it does not flip anything like the Triton. In fact, it's a thousand times better. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. It's, it's like, such a hard line to draw between whether you think something's a clone or not. But, yeah, I would definitely say that this is probably not a clone. Although, the blade profile looks like it could be from a squid trainer with just different milling. And the handles look like a Saharo, but with speed channel and flattened edges. And, like, sure, there's lots of inspiration, but you know what? It's not a clone. So I will go ahead and give it credit for its original design, but with strong inspiration. Um, and a lot of work does get put behind this stuff anyway. But anyway, that's pretty much my video today. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below on what you think is a clone or what, what's original. Or where would you draw the line behind design, color, style? So yeah, anyway, I'll be seeing you guys. Yeet.